I, I, I start by um, fact, uh, uh, quickly recalling a few facts uh, from, from the last lecture. Um, so let me, uh, first point is, um, so I, I, I explained uh, that uh, the conservativity conjecture somehow uh, would follow Uh, from a good from uh, a good understanding of this of some particular object in uh, DA, which is a homotopy limit of uh, this some um, some explicit cosimplicial uh, motive. So this, this lives in. And naturally, with coefficient uh, in K, what, what means COF? Uh, cofibrant cofibrant replacement. So it's li li like, like taking uh, a projective resolution of something, because th th this involves a, a tensor product of operations. So we would better have some cofibrant object uh, instead. Uh, right. So so this co the conservativity would follow from uh, understanding this object, and uh, so the, the ideal uh, thing would be to uh, to completely compute this and um, hopefully arriving to, st to something to, to, to the unit object here. So the, this is a conjecture that this should be just the unit object in this category. Uh, maybe something um, potentially le less difficult uh, is to, to be able to, to map, uh, to, to, to find maps uh, from this object to something uh, which is uh, s simple enough. And uh, I've told you that somehow the, the weakest thing that we could, that we uh, we would like to have is at least something which is uh, like the truncation of the, the of the Durham complex. So if, if we can go uh, if we can go from here to here by by non non zero map, then conservativity would follow. Um, and I, I I also said that. Uh, um, it's important really here to uh, to be taking the homotopy limit uh, with respect to uh, so the homotopy limit should be computed should be computed relative to to the so-called uh, the stable um, a one a local model structure. So this is necessary if, uh, if you want to uh, uh, application to conservativity, for example. Uh, but th there is uh, so uh, we we can uh, somehow re restate this problem without uh, speaking about this model structure, and somehow in a more concrete way as follow. So, uh, or said differently, I can tell you what, what it means to be computing this homotopy limit uh, in a more concrete way. So, in fact, uh, so here, here's if you want a formula for this. Okay, so this is, uh, we know that this is the same as taking. Uh, the total complex of some. Uh, so maybe, maybe I, I write the formula and then I explain. Well, you mean that you take the product in the. In the, the yes, side. yes. This the total. The exactly. This Not symbol. The symbol exactly. This is very important. Yeah. So let, let me maybe just write, write the formula and then explain the terms. So this is something like lambda infinity. Uh, so th there is a composition of uh, three functors. That, that you apply to this uh, omega. But we also have to apply this uh, really on an etal fiber replacement. OK, so, so this is, a, this is a, if you want a concrete formula for what, what this means. Uh, so here, uh, yeah, so he, here the etal fiber, so the, the etal fiber replacement is taking level. So uh, maybe, yeah, I should say that. So, so this is a cosimplicial. 
spectrum, so T spectrum. So th that, that, is, uh, that is a level and that is also a cosimpetial degree. And uh, so when we take the entire fiber placement uh, level wise and also uh, degree wise. Right? This is what, what it means, the symbol on this object. Uh, this is uh, the so called uh, Sustin Vyvodsky construction. So, this is something where it's a T spectrum, and also you have to check this. So how many indices? You have the one for the. So, this object has two indices. There is the level, level of the spectrum, yes. and there is a cosimpetial degree. So, it's like a. It's a cosimplicial T spectrum. So it's a cosimplicial object in the category of T spectra. So two, di two different degrees. Just two directions, yeah. yeah but there is also the, the another coordinate because. Yeah, yeah. I mean, each spectrum, each spectrum yeah, yeah. But, but let, let's forget about this. It's <laughs> okay. So you have in fact three degrees. Yeah, there are three degrees, yes. You can also think about it as a T spectrum in cosimplicial complexes, if you want. So if it's, it's like a T spectrum at each level. It's really a cosimplicial complex, cosimplicial uh, object in complexes oh, okay. of pre sheaves so and yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so it, uh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so this guy is uh, the susslin Wojewski construction. It's really uh, given by, so the formula is something, it's again something like, uh, if you want, it's a homotopy columnate, but it's, sim it's a rather simple one. It's over, uh, over this uh, category delta, or if you prefer, it's just a total complex, doesn't matter, uh, of uh, something like this. Internal home of the algebraic simplices applied our thing. And so this is, this is also applied uh, level-wise and degree-wise. Applied level-wise and degree-wise. Okay? And somehow the, 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 the more, the, the most n n nasty one is this uh, uh, lambda infinity. This is uh, the stabilization Stabilization of T spectra. Um, it, it is given by, uh, so it's a colimit over the integer of uh, some internal home of uh, tensor power of the Tate motive uh, against uh, a suspension uh, of the spectrum. So, uh, uh, a shift in the level uh, of the spectrum. So we shift the level n time. We replace the level zero by, le by level n. Um, and so this is applied. This is applied degree wise again. But not, of course, level wise. It's somehow it mixes the level. So what s? What did you write there? S Here? S yeah. So this is uh, yeah. This is a. F so this is s minus. Uh, on a spectrum, it's just the spectrum E n plus 1, and, and you apply it n time. Okay? All right, so this is uh, what we are, what we would like to compute. Now, of course, it, it's computation up to, uh, up to homotopy, so uh, we, only are, we only really care about the A1 et al. homotopy type of this. Um, okay, uh, and th there is still maybe one thing to, to be said here. Um, so there's also a, an extra complication because uh, so um, yeah. So th this guy is uh, uh, a degree a degree n. It is given by a tensor power. of uh, G spectra, so n, n plus one time. And uh, I didn't really tell you what is uh, 
or the tensor power of spectra. So the tensor power of spectra is actually uh, quite complicated. But fortunately, and I'll explain this maybe today, that there is we don't really need to, uh, to understand. So th this will not really be causing any serious problem, in fact. But just to tell you that this is not simply just uh, in degree n, it's not just uh, a tensor power of n copies of the complex omega. It's more complicated than this. Okay, so this, so if I if I ever if I look at level r, this is different from just uh, the complex omega tensored with itself uh, n plus one time. Well, to the problem in topology, should define the wedge of spectra. Yeah, there is this problem, but even if you define it in the correct way, what you end up is something more complicated than this. Yeah, no, yeah, but I'm saying that. In topology, first they have a, a kind of a, a, a lousy I mean, a way where you you choose uh, each yes. time to do yes. something, and then they have some other uh, yeah. ways to yeah. But so here it's the same kind of yeah, it's the same kind of of stuff. But 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 uh, but this will not be really a problem. The the tensor power will, uh, product will not be. So I, I will not. The, the reason why I don't need, I don't define the tensor power here is because I don't I don't need it. Uh, I, I will give you another way somehow to to represent this object. But I just, uh, just want to say that, that it's not, uh, even if you do it in the right way, it's not given level-wise by this, by, this, um, by this object, by this mm, power. It's, mo it's uh, more complicated than this. All right, so um, also maybe a remark. So, mm, so, uh, so this operation that, I, that, that are here, uh, and, and even that, so, uh, the operations for lambda infinity uh, SGA1 and metal fibrant replacement um, are only necessary uh, in cosimplicial degrees uh, 1 and above. And the reason is that because in, in degree zero, what do we have here is just uh, the spectrum omega. Okay, so in degree zero is the spectrum omega that we know already is uh, stable. It's a, a one uh, fiber, a one local, ethyl fibrant. So it has all all the good properties. But somehow the problem is that all th these properties are uh, completely destroyed when we just when, when we tensor omega with itself. So we need to apply them again, and this is why uh, somehow it's a hard problem. Okay, so the yeah, so the, the uh, so the, the the approach I I was trying to do was trying to 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 develop to to compute this object uh, re relies on some uh, uh, new new models of this spectrum omega. Okay, so the so the approach uh, I try to develop. Rely, relies um, on a new model for for the spectrum omega. So why those things, how you said, are necessary only in cosimplicial degree one and above? Because in in, in cosimplicial degree zero, uh, the object that we have is already uh, a one etal uh, fibrant. It's omega, omega underline, yeah. and uh, so this. And it is, uh, and it is an omega spectrum. Yeah, it's uh, so if if you restrict to smooth uh, affine varieties, it is already uh, an omega spectrum, which is even level wise a one etal fibrant. So it's, it has all the the property that, that we are trying to impose here. So there is no need to apply these functions. All right. So um, yeah. So so the, the approach relies on. on on a new model for omega, so by by a model of omega, I mean uh, it's it's just it's again a, a T spectrum, uh, which is which will be isomorphic to to omega in uh, DA, but but somehow looks different in in some sense. Um, right, so it's uh, this is a T spectrum isomorphic to omega only uh, in DA, so. 
it's a priori not not, uh, not uh, level wise quasi isomorphic to to omega uh, as a comp as a as a t spectrum but in the in this in the in the after localizing uh, it's an iso it's isomorphic to omega right so so but but, but might look This is what I, what I call a model for omega, um, and so th this new model will, for, for, um, yeah, um, this um, with this new model it will be somehow easier to, 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 to do the tensor product, for example, and this is why I don't need the tensor product of, of spectra in general. So, uh, if, you are, if when when we see this this model, you will see that there is a natural way to uh, to, to also to extend it for for to get models for uh, for the power. Uh, for the tensor power of omega, um, yeah, and so it, it will be conveni convenient for for many many things. And actually, uh, yeah, so so to introduce this model, it, uh, and it's unfortunately uh, quite complicated, and I, I will probably need most of uh, this lecture and the next lecture to to do this. Um, and in fact, I will I will introduce three models. And uh, I, I'm only interested in the last one, but uh, but I, I, I do this because the first one is actually rather simple. Uh, it's not so interesting, but at least it it gives you a, a, an idea of what kind of objects uh, I'm trying to, to to describe. The second one is uh, is complicated, but not as complicated as the third one. But it is the third one that I, I really I really need. So I, I somehow I decided to to do to do this step by step. So by introducing these three uh, models. Perhaps you said you really need, but you you could not go. I mean, I will explain where you. Yeah, I explain uh, where, where the gap is at some point. But yeah. You believe that it is still very. Yeah, as well. I believe it's still useful. Yeah, okay. uh, but this will be maybe the last lecture. So I try to convince you that it's useful. No. Huh? <laughs> You'll be away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe I will be le lecturing with an empty room, uh, but uh, <laughs> this is my plan. At the end. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> there will be one guy at least. Million of people who can watch. Only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, so this is wha what I'm planning to do, and um, okay, so yeah, so I, I start by uh, yeah by, by, by uh, so this is uh, the. the Subject of today's lecture is uh, uh, new models. Or the Durham spectrum. Okay. Uh, so as I said it, it's it's these are models which are rather complicated and uh, ju just to to write them in fact I, I would need to introduce some um, some tools uh, and, and develop some uh, notation and, and so on and so I, I will be starting with this so will be a section about uh, general tools so uh, as you will see these are uh, Yeah, yeah I, will, I will always be working with Durham cohomology. Yeah. Okay, so now somehow we, we can forget it for a, for a while about uh, the problem. Just I will introduce some very uh, uh, elementary uh, things, um, uh, and then I will use them somehow to uh, again uh, to, to to give this uh, this new models later. And so uh, the, the general theme will be about this uh, um, stratification. On schemes and, and some construction ar around these. Okay, so uh, maybe so let's recall what recall that a stratification uh, on an Eutherian scheme, let's say X. Uh, this is is simply uh, a collection. Call it uh, S uh, of uh, locally closed subsets of X uh, 
which, which we call strata, called strata. And sometimes, if I want to be precise, I would say S strata. Okay, uh, with two property so such that uh, I want X to be uh, set theoretically. Okay, it's set theoretically uh, the disjoint union of strata. In fact, that, that would be only. Yeah, yeah. This this is implied actually by by this. And uh, second is that every strat uh, the closure of every stratum is uh, again union of strata. Okay, so this is I should say that, uh, yeah I, I forgot to say I want them to be connected so uh, close connected connected. Okay. Yeah, by definition. Yes, 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 yes. But by definition, it's connected, non-empty. This is my definition. I mean, the. Uh, I understand that definition. Um, certainly not, not, not far from the. There were some books that were given. The empty set was connected, and then. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> no, no, but then now in. in now it's now not. Now people still like it. in the Stacks project, so it is explicit that the empty set is. It's not. But there were some. Uh, uh, well, anyway, we shouldn't go to this. Yeah, so uh, for me, uh, connected is, is not empty, and, and this is my definition of a uh, uh, stratification. Okay. Um, and I, I will, so when I say uh, a stratified, stratified scheme, this means, so this is just a, a pair x with a with a choice of a certification. And usually, of course, I just uh, say x. I, I would not uh, um, write down explicitly this, this other symbol. Uh, there is also a notion of uh, morph uh, morphism uh, of stratified schemes. Uh, so f y to x, this is um, it's, it's said to be a morphine right, right, scheme if uh, if uh, for every stratum in Y that exists a stratum in X with FT inside inside X inside S. Okay, so this is a definition of stratified uh, morphism. Okay. Uh, You mean that in the, the maps uh, send any stratum into another stratum? Yes, exactly. So every stratum will be mapped inside uh, another stratum. Uh, I still have some space here. Let me uh, also uh, introduce one terminology. So I, I would say that uh, uh, that that uh, a subset of a stratified X is constructible. If uh, it is a union of strata, okay. So, and if if I need to be more precise, I would say maybe S X uh, constructible. Yeah. So, and so uh, in particular, uh, a morphism of uh, so a certified morphism has a property that that inverse image uh, preserve constructible subset. And this is actually uh, even also also another definition of being a stratified morphism. Um, okay, so in fact, I will be mostly interested in a subclass of uh, stratified schemes that I call regularly stratified. These are very simple, actually, very very simple certifications. Okay, 
So, so maybe another. So yeah, I, so I, if x is, is regular, is a regular scheme, um, uh, we say that that the stratification. Well, let, let, let me say uh, something that is regular with the stratification and stratified. Okay. Okay. So I, I would say that uh, S X is regular. So the stratification is regular if uh, uh, there exists a strict normal uh, crossing divisor. D, uh, defining the certification, uh, it's defining as x in the sense that as, uh, the, st the strata strata are exactly uh, connected component of intersection of. Uh, Reducible component of T. Okay, so, I think. so it's really a union of uh, uh, of a divisor which are smooth, which are regular. Okay, so now. So you have to take it. the intersection of irreducible component minus the smaller intersection. Right, you're right. So it's section of yeah. Okay, minus minus the other. Your strata should have a, should be at some level, at some homogeneous level. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the 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 the, the, the code I mentioned should be also the, the correct one, and so on. So it's yeah. So um, then, of course, d d is uniquely determined by by this uh, certification, uh, and it's equivalent to give d or to give uh, the certification. Um, okay, and, and so such, such an X, I, I would call it uh, re regularly stratified. So X is, X is then called. So it's the same as giving the normal divisor. Yes, exactly. The same data. Regularly stratified. All right, so I think this is what I. Say so. Let, let me now do some notation. So I, I'll denote by scheme uh, sigma k. This is uh, the category of uh, stratified finite type k schemes, and morphism are uh, stratified morphisms. Uh, and inside here, I I look at. Uh, those which are re regularly, str regularly stratified. Okay, so I have these two categories. So of course, uh, sigma is for stratification. And K, is K is my ground field exactly. Yes. And uh, I have uh, um, so that 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 th th there are um, uh, obvious uh, functors. In both direction, but uh, let me just consider uh, those ones. So uh, that I call uh, CO, and CO is for course. So so that so the, the functor what does, what it does it takes a scheme and uh, it gives you a scheme with a, with a, with a course stratification, um, namely is, is the strata are exactly the connected component uh, of X, and similarly for smooth one. Okay, is this clear? So I, I call this inclusion uh, CO for 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 course. Uh, all right, so uh, now uh, continue. Um, so, so given a topology tau on schemes or smooth schemes, uh, I, I get one on the stratified version. 
by declaring that a cover by by declaring that a family is a tau cover if it is so after forgetting the certification. Okay. So, for example, if you take uh, X stratified, uh, then th the map from X to its coarse version, right? So, so this is I, I forget the certification and then I, I look at the I put the coarse one. This will be always cover for any choice of top. Of top. Okay, so I, I don't uh, ask anything uh, about the compatibility of uh, strata. Okay, so, and you have this uh, basic uh, simple lemma. <coughs> so, uh, uh, so the first part is very easy. So, uh, for any uh, tau possible choice of tau, um, so this functor from schemes k uh, to schemes sigma k induces an equivalence so is, a, is an is an equivalence of, of sight I don't know if this is the usual terminology but that differently uh, defines an equivalence of topos and uh, second one is more interesting it's um, it's actually only true for uh, so I, I just I assume here that that, that uh, tau is either the CDH topology or the H topology. Sorry? So the functor course, uh, so that, that, that sends a scheme X to the scheme with the course stratification. Uh, only the connected component. So the, the, but okay. So this functor is a morphism of sides kind of in yes. the other direction. This is what you mean. Sorry? Right, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how, how I should write it, but okay. That, that if, if you prefer this, I also prefer this. So I should write it maybe like this. No, it depends. This is a delicate convention because yeah. the functor is always the other way. Right. So, but I, I already wrote, wrote it in the right way. So maybe I put a star. I don't know. Uh, no. This is the side yes. If I look at the site, maybe I put the topology here. So if I look at this site, so I have this morphism of site. And this is an equivalence of sites. Is this OK? Now, uh, uh, the second part is. Uh, equivalent and then the same topos. Yeah, equivalent topos. So for tau, one of these two topologies, I. Um, so we have uh, we have a diagram of equivalence of side. We have a, a square as follow. Um, okay, I try to put it here. Okay, let, let me maybe erase a blackboard. So, so the same one as before. So uh, for tau CDH or H, uh, and then there are the the smooth variant. So this is induced by the inclusions. Okay, so all, all, all these are 
equivalence of side. So this is again coarse. Yeah, uh, so this the CDH topology is a CDH is a topology which is generated by um, by the the Nisnevich uh, topology, the Nisnevich topology, and the uh, blow up square. So w whenever you blow up something, it's it's like a cover, okay, uh, under some H is uh, uh, is uh, generate uh, okay. So is generated by uh, By by f f finite, no. <laughs> okay. I think it's, it's generated by the Nistevich topology and uh, anything which is finite and cov uh, f uh, uh, proper and and surjective. So uh, there is also a delicate point: defining a morphism of sides because the category of smooth things doesn't have fiber product. So you you have so not yeah of course, but here the but, but here also there is no fiber product. Uh, I was I was always wor working with something with. Yeah, no, but but okay. Uh, But it doesn't matter because it's an equivalence. Uh, okay, so but here, here, and because of resolution of singularity, yeah, anything yeah. can be dominated. Right. And so it's. Uh, so it. Okay. So the, the the inverse image is an equivalence of category. So it's a it's a it's a morphism of topos and it's an equivalence also. Yeah, and it is a morphism of sites. So the one is to verify something. Uh, Even to define the topology, in general, if you have a topology, mm -hmm. not not the particular one you took. And you want to restrict it to smooth schemes, yes. you can say, well, I take families of smooth models of smooth schemes which are covering. So yeah. Then you have to verify that this is really yes. a topology which yes. is involves this delicate thing of the base change also. So it doesn't yeah. quite work. Yeah. You have to, there are different yeah. notions. So here, the only reason that it works is that you have resolution of singularity. Yeah. So okay. we, we need. Use it implicitly yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's used to, to yeah. And you are in characteristic zero. I'm in characteristic zero, so. I think for for the H topology, I think you can we don't need you can do you can use the, the young resolution of singularity also, but, but uh, I'm I'm I'm, characteristic, I'm I'm working characteristic zero, so there is no no issue. Okay, so so this is really a, a very easy uh, lemma. I will not say much about. I mean, uh, there is no, nothing really to prove essentially. Uh, um, Right. So, but it's somehow interesting because then, uh, remember, I, my goal is somehow to define uh, some some new uh, T spectrum on on uh, on smooth varieties. And in fact, what I, what I will do, I will uh, in fact r uh, first define something here uh, using uh, stratification, and and then use this equivalence how to transfer the the T spectrum on on something here. Okay. So this is, this will play this. This this is why I'm. I, I'm, I'm introducing these uh, categories. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, so now I want to discuss uh, the notion of uh, uh, Godman complex uh, in in this setting. So maybe Godman construction. A slightly more general uh, um, uh, context. Okay, so mm, let so uh, of course you know that that that, uh, that, that there is uh, an order on on strata. So if I have uh, two strata S and T inside some stratified uh, scheme, uh, when I write this, uh, this means that uh, S is contained in the closure of T. Okay, this is the natural order on strata. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I write it like this, it means that S is inside T. Um, and uh, I now introduce the notion of uh, flag. So let's say, let's say X is a stratified scheme. Uh, a flag, or uh, a flag with, of course, with respect to the certification. So, is an n tuple, so let's say flag of lens of lens n, uh, is an n plus 1 tuple. Uh, 
if I wrote d underline consists of d0 that have to the n. Uh, and these are strata. So the d0 the, 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 the and the n are strata. Exactly, so and they are in, in the in increasing order. Huh? Yeah, and, and this is strict now. It's, I don't want repetition, okay? Uh, this, is, this is a flag. Um, so uh, I, I, I put uh, a category structure on the set of flags. So uh, I'll denote by uh, flag of, of x. So this is um, a set of flag, flags. And I, I would declare that there is a map between uh, one flag to another. Uh, if if d is a refinement of c, okay, so I think about refining as sometimes as d dominating uh, another flag. Okay, so it's, it's, this is just uh, uh, this is just uh, a poset, but uh, yeah, I think about it as a category. More, more strata. Yeah, so C is, incl is included in D. Uh, okay. It's maybe uh, slightly confusing, but I, I want that D is larger than C. Okay. okay? So are C and D have the same length? No 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 no, 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 no. One is contained in the other. So uh, all the strata of C appears in, the, in D, but, but there might be more than. It's called oh. identity. There is identity. Identity will be just equality. There is also one other, one other thing I want to say. Um, uh, so, uh, if I if I'm given a morphism of stratified schemes, um, then th th there is a notion of uh, <coughs> there is a functor f lower star that goes from uh, flags on y to flags on x. A direct image of flags, and uh, it takes d to something d, which is the um, uh, so whose so the strata which which, uh, which makes this uh, flag are exactly those those containing an image containing. Image by F of a stratum in uh, in uh, in D, appearing in D. Okay, so what we do, we, we look at the images of the strata that are in D, and it, and then it, we just uh, remove the repetitions, and then this will give me a flag in in X. Okay, so so this is, this is uh, this is the simple construction. Uh, give me uh, a two functor. So this defines. So uh, a flag. You can't have an empty flag. Then. No, no, no. The empty flag does not, does not exist because uh, the lengths start from zero. Okay. I don't want an empty an empty flag. All right. So this defines uh, a two functor. Um, 
flags that goes from category of schemes, say over k, um, to categories. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a stratified uh, scheme to the category of flags. So a, a, a covariant uh, two functor. All right, and so uh, all right, so uh, and so for for v, I will be I will consider so for for if I'm given a subcategory of schemes stratified. Okay, so. Uh, example, and this is maybe essentially the main example I'm, think I'm interested in is uh, if I look at the smooth object. Uh, so we consider we can consider uh, so-called the, the, the Grothendieck construction. Uh, huh? uh, the Grothendieck con cons so consider the Grothendieck. This is our how, how it's called, uh, construction. Uh, so w which is which associate to a two functor a category, uh, which is very simple. This is uh, the object or pairs. So we, we, we give ourselves um, a stratified scheme and a flag, and morphisms. Uh, consists of a morphism from y to x plus a morphism from uh, from c to d. I hope this is correct. Uh, yeah, I'm confused now. I have in my note. I have yeah, the other. So fiber and cofiber category. Yes. You yes. Decide what you want. Yeah. So I think I I, I want to decide the other one. So I want uh, what uh, what do I want? Let's see, f flower star. Okay, I'm not confused about this, but let me think just for one moment. Um, yeah, I think this is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Yeah. This is kind of the core fiber, the total space of the core fiber category. Yeah. And V is a subcategory, a full subcategory. It's a full subcategory. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm interested in this case essentially, but X is, is X uh, in V, X in V, or what, which so which one is in V? X is always in V. Yeah, sorry, I should say it. so. X X is in V, and uh, F will be also a map in V. Okay, just uh, actually we can take any, not, not necessarily. Full any subcategory, it doesn't matter. A subcategory of the subcategory. So yeah, I, I choose a subcategory. Sometimes I, I don't want to to look at that one, but maybe at that one or something even smaller. And okay, so and now I, I, I come to to this definition, which is uh, so it's this notion. Uh, uh, so it's it's a it sounds a bit weird. I don't know if you have a better name. I would be happy to hear any suggestions. So I, I call a flaggy uh, pre sheaf on uh, on V as before. So V a subcategory uh, of stratified schemes. Um, a contra so it is just a a contravariant functor. On this uh, on this category, on this Grothendi construction. So essentially, it's a functor which associates to X and, and a flag, an object, and has uh, full uh, has a um, restriction map and so on. Okay, and uh, so if if F is such an is such an object, I sometimes just write F D. Instead of f x d, so if it's if, if if d it's clear where in which so uh, flag in which uh, certified scheme I just write this notation.
Okay, so, uh, and now we I, I can tell you what is this uh, Godma uh, construction. So I think I'm confused about, uh, so you're sure about the direction that you are, so you have a map of, of uh, Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure yeah, about, yeah. More, yeah. star D is more, yes. more guys than C. Yeah. So, uh, like identity, uh, so um, like if, if, if x is equal to y, I want d going to c. I, I want this direction. A map. Yeah, d is, is bigger. So, maybe I, I can give you uh, an example uh, to, to keep in mind. Um, um, so, here's maybe an example. So, uh, let, let's assume that, uh, or maybe. I don't know m m motivation for, for this for this for this definition, not, not another one. Uh, so is the following. So let's assume that everything is affine. Just for simplicity, everything affine. So meaning that uh, all also the strata are affines, uh, affine, and so then if you have uh, if you have x and the d and uh, a flag d, you can. Uh, Construct uh, somehow uh, the completion or the successive completion of x along d, um, or you can even do it. F I don't know. For example, for the Hanselian. Okay. So what you do, you you look at, at the first uh, first stratum, and then you you look at the Hanselian localization of x along the first stratum. Yeah. Is this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I said everything is affine. Uh, just I'm, I'm just giving a motivation, so I'm just uh, okay, so let's good. assume that everything is affine. I, I take the initialization uh, of x at d zero, and then pull back d one, and and again look at the uh, at the initialization of of what I get at d one, and so on. Okay, should, should I write it or? So you first initialize relative with the smaller. Smaller. Then look at the inverse image of the second one. It Hence could be disconnected, but you don't care if they yeah. with everything and you continue. Yeah. I mean, no, the, the first one will not be disconnected. Uh, no. Okay, no, I, I'm in the, no, let's say, I, I'm in the, I'm in the smooth. Uh, 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 let's say that this is also smooth. <laughs> just. Okay, okay, no, I, 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 it's not about, uh, yeah, it's just, okay. So uh, in, the, in good cases, you don't have even uh, any problem. So you just, it's, it's, still, it's still connected and so on. Um, and so, uh, whenever you have a map like this, then it will it will give you uh, a map like this. Okay, so 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 with this definition, you get a functor. Uh, this construction be becomes functorial, and this is what this is somehow uh, one of the reason that that. Okay, I, 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 I want to choose this definition, not not any anything else. Okay, is this? And, and similar and similarly for 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 the. Huh? For the completion also. Yeah, for the and, 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 and this is why also uh, we, we we took this uh, direction for the flags because uh, when 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 you have a refinement of a flag, it gives you something which goes to in this direction. Okay. okay? All right. So uh, now I want to describe the construction of the Godmo. Um, so the, the Godmo construction. So we start with f a flaggy. Pre sheaf, uh, let's say on V, uh, with values in any additive category. So in uh, additive category. So it could be uh, complexes, for example, of, of uh, vector spaces. Um, and, and so we define, uh, so we associate to F a usual uh, complex of pre sheaf. We associate. Complex of pre sheaves uh, on V by the following formulas, uh, so that I denote by uh, chi f. So this is my complex chi dot f, and so uh, I tell you how, how it's given. So at degree m, this is just a product. Of, uh, of 
of sequence. Sorry? Chi? Here? Chi. Yeah. So in latex, it's chi. Xi? Xi? I don't know. Capital Xi, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so this is this is Xi maybe, not not Kai. I don't know what what is the name for this. <laughs> so in, in latex, it's, it's this it's Xi. And the small one is like this. Yeah, probably this is uh, the capital. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. This. Uh, so yeah, at so. Degree m is given by you look at uh, sequence of uh, morphism of flags. So this is in flag of x. So I should say I, I'm, I'm evaluating at x here. Okay, sorry. So this is evaluated at x. It's given by taking the product over uh, uh, a sequence of lengths m plus 1 uh, in the category of flags of x. And simply you uh, taking, so you evaluate f at uh, the first one. This is, uh, this is what, what is this complex in degree m. OK? And in fact, this is just, OK, uh, if you, uh, you can, Maybe set right here. You erase maybe this. And in fact, uh, this has a. We don't really need this explicit form, but I just give it. But mm, in fact, uh, if you if you, are, you might also know that this is just uh, this thing is another name for uh, it's for the homotopy limit over the category of flags. Uh, okay. So this is an this is an explicit complex which com which computes the homotopy limit um, along this this very simple category. I mean this is just a poset and um, a homotopy limit over this poset are are, are rather ra rather nice. It's, it's just a finite poset. And uh, this is a, an explicit form which compute this object. Okay, so I'm just taking the homotopy limit. So I, I have a flaggy pre-sheaf. Uh, I, I, I look at a, at the variety x, which is stratified, and I uh, I take the limit over the flags of of my flaggy pre-sheaf, and I get one object, and this would be the value of my object at x. Okay, this this defines this uh, complex of pre-sheaf chi f. Is this clear? So D0 is a flag, man. Yeah, uh, uh, all these guys are flags. And I'm, I'm looking at morphisms of flags, yeah. So it's a bit complicated, but maybe it's better to think about it like this. So it's, it's some homotopy limit along uh, a category which, which where, where the objects are flags. And OK, so, so this, is, this is a pre-sheaf on this category. If I fix my x. I let d vary. This is a pre sheaf here. I take its global section, homotopy limit, as, as, one, as you want to. But I could take uh, every arrow to be identity. Then, then but I take them all. So I take the product o over all these guys. It's a product oh. over all possible oh. arrows. OK? This is, a, this is a, a degree m. OK, so this, is, this gives a complex. It's not important, but just it's, it's a way. So chi. Is a way as a function is a way to pass from flaggy pre-sheaves to usual pre-sheaves. Okay, and it, it's just uh, an, a variant of the, of the Godmont uh, resolution complex. OK, so yeah. Um, OK, and, and uh, one, one thing also. So if, if f itself is a complex, uh, uh, then when I, when I write 
chi f, I, I usually mean the double, the, as a simple complex associated to the double complex. Okay, I don't want to put the total everywhere, so it's just okay. So that's the, the best way to think about it is just as a homotopy limit like this. So here, the, so when it is a complex, you take the product. Uh, no, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, the product, yes. But it, it's not really. A, a, it's not really a serious product because this is a fi so it's really a homotopy limit over this finite post set. It's not really a big. It commutes with with filtered colimit, for example. Ah, yeah, because if here you take uh, the unnormalized version. But if you took the yes, if you take the normalized version, then there will be finite, finitely many. Finite exactly, finite exactly, finite exactly. And that canonical homotopy equivalent. Of yes, something. exactly. Okay. All right. So this. this uh, yeah, okay, I, I now continue. So I, now I, um, I continue with, uh, with this uh, general tools, then, but, but from now on I, somehow I, I will be essentially working with uh, regularly stratified schemes. Uh, so what, 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 will, what will follow somehow depends very much on this uh, regularity uh, assumption. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, here's a remark. So uh, continue. So uh, let x be uh, a smooth okay. uh, regularly stratified scheme. So remember, this means that x is, or, uh, is itself a regular scheme, and the stratification that we have on x is induced by a strict normal crossing divisor. Um, so if, if if I take a stratum in X, then uh, then the normal uh, bundle uh, uh, along the closure of this of this of this stratum. Um, right, so this is uh, yeah, so C bar will be a nice uh, regular sub closed subscheme of X, and this is just a normal bundle, uh, uh, then this um, uh, is uh, also naturally also naturally stratified. Or naturally stratified. Okay, so the, the stratification on X indu induces one also on the, on the normal bundle. Uh, so one way to, maybe the good way to think about this is uh, by, by using the deformation uh, to the normal cone. So, um, so use, so uh, let's assume that X S, uh, Sx is uh, defined by, by, s by some normal crossing divisor D, uh, so uh, equal to D1 Dn. Uh, then, so what, what, what we do, we look at uh, uh, we look at the strict. So look. So t t take the fiber at zero. Of the strict uh, transform of E. Uh, in uh, the deformation deformations to normal cone. Okay, so this fiber at zero will be also a um, uh, uh, strict normal crossing divisor in, in this uh, NXC bar and it, it defines the stratification that, that I'm uh, speaking about. 
Okay, so it's a very simple construction. Uh, so, so this, so this kind, yeah. So, so the certifi certification somehow. Um, uh, so th then one can one can repeat this and and uh, um, and so in fact uh, yeah we, we have the following lemma. Um, so let x as before so regularly stratified c inside x stratum. Uh, Yeah, maybe, but by the way, I, I want to I want to introduce a notation before that. Okay, let, let, let me erase this. So I I, I I will not be using this notation for the normal cone. So uh, just a slightly different one, which I find more convenient. So uh, from now on, I will I denote by n plus x c. This is this is an x c bar, and I will denote by n zero x c. This is um, the the open stratum. In here. Okay. So uh, here, in fact, yeah, th there is only one stratum which is open, um, and I call it n zero. Uh, and by the way, uh, if uh, given x a stratified scheme, I denote by x zero. The union of open strata. I should have said maybe this before, but okay, so here are two notations that I will be using. Sorry, I, I cannot. So can, can you? Uh, you mean for open, for open strata, you mean a strata that is open? Yeah, a strata which is open, yeah. Okay. Sorry? Can you have a strata which is. Non-empty interior, but is not open. Can you say again? Can you have a stratum which has non-empty interior, but is not? But is not open. Yeah. No. No, I don't think you can have that. No, no, you cannot have that. I think. So, so, so the the, the x zero will be always dense in x. So the, this is always dense. This is in the regular case. Or no, in general. Why is it dense? So, do you want me to give a proof of this? So what, what if you take a generic point and, and you look at, uh, um, so you, you have finitely many generic points, right? So, and, and so you fix one and, and all the others that are contained in, in some strata, you take their closure, uh, this is constructible. The complement is also constructible. It's open and contains a generic point. Yeah. Okay, so so it's the complement is is, is even uh, irreducible and open. It's not important anyway. Right? But okay, huh? You would yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, for, for, for a regular thing, it's uh, certainly true. And maybe you can do it while I'm erasing. So that So do you agree that if, if x is irreducible, there is no problem? No, okay, okay. Maybe I will think it's not, not a better proof. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> then fine. Okay, I still have this black part. So, yeah, so I, I wanted to give this lemma, which is some kind of transitivity. 
so again, x regularly stratified. Uh, C inside x a stratum. Uh, now I, I also take another stratum, but now in the normal cone. So how do I call it? E at E. <coughs> also a stratum. Uh, we, of course, we have a map uh, from this guy to to C bar to the closure of C. So and and we let, let uh, should I call it D maybe? Let D <coughs> be the image of E in uh, in C bar. Okay, by by, by the natural map from. C. So this is, so in fact D is also a stratum. So this is the stratum of x. Okay, so with this notation, uh, we have that the normal uh, bundle um, uh, in here, so in n plus xc of e, this, this is iso canonically isomorphic to n plus xt. So we have this kind of permanent condition. And this is a, a stratified <coughs> uh, a stratified schemes. OK, so yeah. So using this lemma, we, 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 can, define, uh, we can define the category. So here's the construction that will be important for us. So so I, I, I first maybe uh, define uh, what I call tangential uh, morphism. So let us take two uh, x and y uh, regularly stratified schemes, and assume, assume, uh, which are assumed to be connected. Assumed connected. It's not important, but I think it's natural to do this. So I assume them to be connected. Um, so a tangential morphism from x to y is, so is a pair. Oh, um, it's, called, so it's, a consist, it's a pair fc from x to y uh, consists of of a stratum uh, y to x. A stratum C in x and a morphism from y to n x uh, C, n plus uh, to the normal cone of C bar. Yeah? So, of C bar, but I, I, I put a plus instead of bar here. Uh, such that, so sen sending the open stratum inside the open stratum there. Okay, so this is uh, what I call a tangential morphism. And the nice thing is that, that they, they form a category, so we can, com we can compose them. Okay, so, uh, so given Another uh, such guy, so uh, maybe G, D. we define the composition let's call this H maybe so define the category yeah I'm, I'm defining I'm, I'm defining a category. So I, I, I define the composition to be a pair HF where, so I tell you what is H and what is F. Uh, okay, so maybe I, I need uh, first to, to do some, some other notation. So first let, let E, so okay, such, such, such as that, or um, as follow, sorry, as follow. Okay, 
So let me try to do it without looking. So uh, yeah. So what what do we have here? We we have uh, we have f, uh, and we have uh, this g. So maybe I write it here. So g is a map that goes from from g to the normal cone of uh, d in y. Okay. All right. So uh, and so in particular, we have d a stratum in y. So what we can do, we can uh, uh, apply to, so we can look at f flower star d. Okay, so this is a stratum, let's call it E, is a stratum in the normal cone of C. Okay, so this is, this is, this is the only stratum that contains the image of T and by, by F. You would add X, I suppose. It's X. Yes, thank you. Right. So uh, you can apply G to, uh, F to that. Yes. So I can. I can. So yeah. So so, so since uh, since uh, uh, F. Uh, so yeah. So be because of of this. What is D? D is a, st is a stratum in Y. Maybe I should I should make a picture. I don't know. It's so I have X. I have Y. I have Z. I have two strata to start with, C and D. And I have maps that goes to the normal cone. OK? So what I can do, I can do one thing to start with, is to take the image of this. So the image, uh, the, the push forward, I call it E. OK? Now, this map here induces a map from the normal cone okay, by functorality of this of the normal cone. Um, but good, this, this is the same guy as here. Uh, and now I can use this lemma, uh, which is which is here, to write this as a normal cone in X, but of something else. So this is n plus x f, where f is the image um, of e in uh, in c bar. Okay, so f is the image in X. Okay, and so. Uh, and, and this is my H here. Okay, so this is how the composition works. Okay, so and one check that this is a well-defined composition. It's associative. Uh, uh, the unit uh, the unit is given by the identity map with the, with the open stratum. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it, gives, it gives a category, and I, I, I now give a name to this. I suppose that if you want to make a break, it should be the first five seconds. It's <laughs> too late for a break. <laughs> huh? Should we make a break? Well, it depends on you. Let, let, let me finish, maybe. It depends on you. Last, 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 yeah. Same last time, it depends on you. Right, I, I just forgot about this. So. Uh, um, but it's maybe not the, not a good time. So let, let me uh, say a few few things and then I, I then. Said it. Process, I said process. Okay. I think I'm. So let me finish these two blackboards and then I take a break. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. I'm happy about this. So we can continue without no. Without. <laughs> okay. So, what about it? Yeah. So, so notation. I I, def I denote by um, by uh, smooth sigma t over k. So this is the category of of connected. Um, 
uh, stratified or sorry, naked smooth regularly stratified schemes plus uh, tangential morphism. And so maybe I just uh, finish by telling you why it is uh, interesting and natural to, to do this. Uh, just a statement of, pro of proposition, which I will not prove, of course. It's, it will be too... No. This doesn't bear well for extending K to the algebraic closure because the scheme can disconnect. And so it's not... Uh, yeah. But, okay, I may, maybe. I, I'm not uh, using... Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. But uh, but this is this is this is my definition. But uh, maybe yeah, m I, I'm not going to extend my base scheme today at least. So yeah, I, I don't see. So yeah, I, I keep this in mind. It's that, uh, that there might be some problem when extending. Okay, maybe maybe the better notion would be to ask to ask that it is uh, geometrically connected, so that, that, that there is no. Uh, uh, maybe this is better, actually, indeed, yeah. But somehow, the, the only, yeah. Uh, Category of connected or? Of geometrically connected, maybe it's better, yeah. Smooth, regular, regular, yeah. regular stratified scheme. Yeah. With the type of sign. Right, so, um, okay, so why, why do we care about this? Is it because of the following proposition, so that, is, that exists. Uh, maybe. Maybe first notation. Let me. I still have some place here, so here's another notation. So if you have a scheme X, uh, say smooth or maybe yeah smooth over a field, um, I, I'll denote by uh, M I C R S X. So this is the category of end. Uh, module hmm. this is the category of modules with integrable connection uh, which are filtered union or just union over x. yes over x over x which are equal to the union of their Sub-objects, uh, which are uh, which are locally free, a finite rank over OK. Uh, no, for no uh, here, n uh, no, no, X just is smooth. Yeah, so uh, a finite rank uh, with regular singularities at infinity. Okay, so I, this is uh, quite clear. So, modules of the connection, regular, singular, at infinity, and on X uh, they are smooth. Uh, but, but, but I allow uh, somehow um, end object, and so it's, uh, they, they can, can be uh, as big as I want, but, but they should be, uh, yeah, filtered union of. of what is what? Sorry? Where? I dot theta over X. Here? Integrable connection over X. Integrable connection. Okay. So it's a module with a connection, nabla, uh, integrable, uh, and, and many nice property. And okay, it's it won't play a very important role. But sorry. You mean zero? Yeah, yeah. It's it's locally free, so there's no torsion, and at infinity it uh, has regular singularities. Okay. So it's essentially th these are if you are over C. Uh, this is like, like giving yourself a local system, okay? Um, but maybe an end local system. Uh, and uh, I. The is not necessarily a finite rank. Sorry? No, no. The module is not necessary. No, but it is a union of one which are finite rank, okay? And, uh, and uh, so if X is, is now stratified and regularly stratified, I'll denote by mic, so I just somehow uh, interchange the, the circle. So this will be 
And the reason why I do this because is because of the following proposition. Yes, exactly, yes. Proposition, so there exist uh, a, a contravariant two functor. So make circle Rs that goes from this category of tangential map, so smooth sigma tangential k categories and send x to make of x circle. Um, and what, what it does on tangential map is uh, as follows. So if you have fc from y to x, this goes map, this goes to the following functor. Um, so, uh, so let's say fc upper star. So this is make uh, regular singular x0. You apply the so-called uh, limiting functor. So this is like uh, taking some kind of limit uh, along the stratum C. Uh, and then you, you, you would go to make regular singular of normal of the normal cone uh, of the open part normal cone. And then since your, your map F, remember in the, in the, uh, in the condition that I asked my, my F to, uh, to preserve the open strata, so you, you have an induced F upper star here that goes to make regular singular Y. Okay, and so this, this is, the, this is the, the definition of the pullback map. Okay, and so this, is, this somehow ex explains the introduction of, these, of this tangential map. And I think it's a good maybe place to make a break now. <laughs> okay. okay, so the next point I want to discuss is somehow a, a combination of uh, uh, the notion of flags and the notion of um, tangential morphism. So, um, so that maybe I first start with the notation. So, so maybe new paragraph notation. So, Take x regularly stratified, and now uh, I take a flag instead of taking just, just taking stratum. Next, okay, and so I, I, I define. Uh, a variant, if you want, of this uh, n plus, uh, and I call it m instead of n. So this is m plus uh, x of the flag, and this is just uh, the n plus, uh, but not now of x, but rather of the closure of the largest stratum that that appears in my flag. Uh, uh, so that to the d zero. So, and in particular, you see, it depends only on the two uh, endpoints of the flag. It doesn't really depends on what's happening in between. Okay. So, um, and similarly, uh, uh, um, so this is also n zero. Okay. And uh, right. So, uh, here is a lemma. So say that the association or the assignment um, D mapping to N plus X, X D um, so extends to a, so uh, extends into functor um, M plus X going from flags on x to uh, to this um, tangents of category. Okay, so whenever I have a morphism of flag, I did use, uh, so, so these are stratified uh, smooth scheme, and they are connected. Um, and uh, so since, since it is, uh, you see it's in the, in the 
yeah, it's connected. And, um, and so whenever I have a morphism of lag, I not necessarily have a morphism of, of, of uh, stratified scheme, but I have uh, always a tangential morphism like this. Uh, there is a small issue here in this uh, lemma is that this, this functor is not uh, unital. So uh, as, as, as I will explain, and we see from the construction that it does not take the identity of lags to identity. Okay, so mm, I will very quickly uh, discuss this. So I don't, don't want to get too much into the details, but just give you an idea of uh, how, how this is constructed. So, uh, and uh, in fact, as, as I as I said here, so uh, it's only somehow the, the the two end point two end point of the of the flag that, that matters. So in fact, what what I will do, I'll just take uh, three strata and uh, tell you uh, what what are the map from n d two bar plus d zero to n plus. And the second one is uh, okay, so there are two maps. So th this is a, the, the largest uh, flag, um, and there are two possible maps. So one plus t one d zero. Okay, and I, I want to describe this map to you, and and somehow then. Uh, the, 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 the Statement is, is obtained by composing these, these maps it's and showing that it doesn't depend on something. But it's so. Yeah, this is somehow the in, uh, interesting part is to describe these maps. Okay, so, uh, so th this is one, this is two, and I will tell you what are these tangential morphism. Okay, so. Um, all right. So here. Uh, here it will be a true tangential morphism in the sense that it's not uh, so. Uh, so the, the pair consisting of a morphism and, and strata. So the morphism will not be a morphism between these two things. So we really need to uh, to do something. So uh, so here the the stratum is will be will be d zero that I consider as a stratum here by see the, so here here you have d d one bar as a, as a zero section, and therefore d zero is also inside. And so, so you have this stratum here, and if you uh, if you do the normal cone of this guy in the class, then you get exactly this by by the lemma that I explained before. And so the, 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 the this is this is the map that is defining this tangential morphism. So you take this isomorphism. And this uh, uh, stratum here, and then, then this gives you this. So why the identity map doesn't go to the identity? Uh, I, I, I'll tell you. Uh, it's <laughs> I, 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 you, you will see in a moment. I think. Uh, let's see. He, it's already it's already visible here. You see, if uh, let's see if d one is equal to to d zero. So uh, you will have identity here. Always, as always, uh, but the so it's in fact the problem will, will come from the stratum, because the identity uh, in the in the category of tangential uh, map is always given by the open strata. And here we will, we, we are forced to take a, um, a non-open one. Okay, so in this case, if if you have d d zero equal uh, d one, then this is not the open strata. Also, the, the two objects are the same. The two objects are the same. Yes. So uh, I, I want to. That should be. It should be the identity map because there is only. So I'm looking at the flag uh, d0, d2, d1, or d2 if you want, equal to d0, d1. Right. So because these two strata are equal, yes. and this identity map should be should go to the identity map. 
if 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 my functor was would be unital. But the way I define the image of this of this arrow is by saying it's given by the by this some, this isomorphism and the the stratum d zero. But the stratum d zero is not the open stratum in this. Okay, so the, the, the identity map here would, would, would be uh, instead of d zero will be n n zero. Okay. All right. So this, this is the first one. The second one uh, is as easy. So again, you you take uh, the stratum would be d zero. Uh, the zero section in here, um, uh, and uh, th th that is an obvious map in this, in this from here to actually. So there, there is a morphism of schemes of stratified scheme or already from this to this. It's not difficult to see. Um, yeah. I mean, b b both of them are are over d zero bar, and that they are uh, n they are normal bundle over d zero bar. But one is for a, so you see you have the situation you have x, we have d one bar, we have d zero bar. Uh, sorry, we have d two. Oh. Okay, we have d two bar, d one bar d0 bar. I'm taking the normal cone of d0 inside here and the normal cone of d0 inside d1. And you see that there is a map from one to the other. OK. Yeah, in fact, there, there are two maps. There is, but uh, yeah. Sh should I say more about this? Or? Anyway, so. Yeah, so, so the fact that it's not a unital, it's not really a big issue. And I, I will ignore this from, so let's uh, ignore the fact that this is not unital. And if this is a problem for you, I just maybe tell you in word uh, what, 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 what can be done. The, the one way to deal with this is just to add a formal unit to the category of flags. Okay, so I just add for every object, every flag that I add, uh, I add a unit formally, which will, and then the identity of flags will not be a unit anymore. Okay, so but it's there is a, an easy way to, to to overcome this. It's not not a, not important. All right, so we are almost uh, done with with the preliminaries. So. Uh, yeah, also I have this, the following lemma is that, uh, in fact, e e this, the functor, okay, so we, we even have mm, a functor m plus that goes from the Grotten deconstruction on flags to uh, tangential morphism. Okay, so uh, not only we have functor functoriality for morphism of flags, but also uh, for morphism of uh, stratified schemes. And we can, we can put all this together into uh, such, um, such a functor. Uh, so it's, this is sending x D to M plus X be underlined. Okay, so it's maybe not, not so important somehow to remember uh, how all this is con constructed, and, but ju just on, uh, at least on objects. So we, we have uh, to a flag, to a, to a scheme and a, and a flag, we have this uh, essentially some kind of a normal cone 
of the small stratum inside the, la the large stratum. Okay, and so finally we we we, we get uh, this nice two fun curve that, that will play some role from now on. So so finally putting all these things together we get nice two functor uh, which is a composition of the previous one the mic regular singular at in, in the open stratum composed with this m plus so uh, it goes from the Grothendieck construction on smooth uh, stratified schemes on the flags uh, to categories and it's sending a pair to make regular singular or M0 X. So well, what I'm saying here is that uh, so whenever you have a flag, you can look at, at this uh, some kind of, op of open normal cone. Uh, and the category of modules with regular singularities there uh, is functorial for some morphism that, that forms this uh, big category. Well, so we have th we have this uh, this object. Okay, so th and th this will be used in, in, in describing these new models for omega. So I still have some time, and I uh, so I will give you the first model for omega. Regular singular. So the model with regular singularities on the open strata. Okay, so you. Uh, ah, you already uh, you didn't put it before Marco, but you assume the between okay in the sense of the lane and so on. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why I, I put regular singularity because I, I want to have this uh, uh, limiting construction. Uh, other, I mean, that, that it exists in more general uh, modularity, but uh, I, I don't need more this than, than this. It's just okay. So let's see. I, I can now try to uh, introduce the first and simplest model or new model. And in fact, it, it won't be really a model for the spectrum omega, but for the, for the Durham complex. This is a Durham complex. So I, I, I just, I, I will define, uh, I will define a complex on smooth variety, which, which will be uh, quasi-isomorphic uh, or equivalent to, to the Durham complex, using this, this, this uh, thing here. Okay, so, um, Here's the idea. So I, I need let, let me give this uh, one general more definition, just practical for. Yes, so let, let's assume that you have v a small category, and we have some two functor So like that, like something like, like like that one. So. So V could be this uh, 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 growth and deconstruction. Uh, M could be this uh, MIC composed with M plus. Um, so we, we, we can define contravariant. Con contra yeah. And I, I want this also to be contravariant. Okay, so we can we can define uh, what is so a pre sheaf on V with value in N. Yeah, and it's it's more or less clear what, what this means. So it's 
it's a, a way to, for every object x, you would associate an object in M of x. And you want a uh, restriction map in the usual uh, way. OK? So I don't know, uh, maybe I should very quickly sp spell this out. So, so it's, uh, it's an assignment that for, for an object, uh, you have an object of M of x. And for a, for a morphism, you have a map from f upper star f of x to f of y. And of course, f upper star is the inverse image um, for this two functor. OK? And of course, pl plus, plus associativity and, and the usual. The obvious no notion. And uh, maybe I just say it orally. So uh, in, in this particular case, I, I would also speak about uh, flaggy pre sheaf on, sm on cer certified smooth schemes uh, with value in this two functor. Okay, so because it's, it's really defined on flags, so it makes sense. And uh, again, just me, let me say it orally. So in good cases, for example, if, if M takes value in um, abelian categories, and if the, the Inverse image functors are uh, um, are right exact. Uh, th then the resulting category of pre sheaf is also an abelian category. Okay, and and if you have, for example, if this has like also have a right adjoint, and uh, the categories are of Grothendieck, then also the resulting category will be of Grothendieck. So you can speak about injectives. <coughs> So if the inverse image functors uh, um, for in these two functors, so you have this f upper star, yeah. uh, they should be exact uh, on, on the right. So the, right? If they are ra right exact, yeah. then the resulting category is abelian. Uh, the category of, pre of pre sheaf with values in M. Ah, when the categories of themselves are abelian yeah, yeah. and the functors are additive. Are, are, ad are exact, uh, ab uh, um, yeah, additive and exact on. Is, is, uh, and also, it's a Grothendieck category. Yeah, uh, it's also uh, maybe. I mean, it will, it will suffice to assume that f upper star uh, uh, has a has a right adjoint. So then it commutes with with filtered collimit, or well, with, yeah, with collimit. <coughs> so, in, for instance, in this case, uh, the resulting category will be uh, abelian of Grothendieck, and, and and we can speak about injectives and and, result and and so on. We can do homological algebra there. So, all right. So, uh, and now try, try to to describe this new uh, complex that, that will be quasi isomorphic to omega. Um, so, I start with the following simple uh, observation. So, we do have an example of uh, of uh, of an object like this in in this situation. Uh, simply, the unit object. Right? So, um, so this is a map sending. Xd to uh, O uh, M zero X D was D. So this is the the the, the unit uh, module with integral connection. Uh, so uh, this, this this will be called one because it is the unit object. So it's the unit object. In pre sheaves. Pre sheaves with values in MIC, like a singular composed with M plus, right, that, that, that two functor. Uh, but since, as I told you, this is a, 
an abelian category that, that we have here, so I, I could uh, take a, an injective resolution. Okay, so I denote by one fibrant, or maybe injective is better. Yeah, injective. So this is not very mysterious, in fact. So if I evaluate at, uh, at a pair like this, XZ, I, I simply get an injective resolution of the unit object in the category of modules integrable connection. Okay, so it's so just. Uh, the modules integrable connection you take are, are uh, usual local system or fire attack? Or no, no, no. They are end object in. in ah, okay, okay. You said end object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, they, are, they are union, they are filtered union of. Uh, of what, what, what we usually call uh, uh, modules integral connection. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I saw it, yeah. yeah. But you need it for the injectives. Okay. Yeah, for example, yeah. It's a uh, for injective, yeah. All right, so, so we have this, this guy. We also have uh, a construction. So, we, we so let, let, let me denote by gamma, de gamma delta. So, this is uh, for any x, uh, uh, we have. Uh, uh, module. So we have this functor of uh, some kind of gl a global section um, which sends m to just the, the kernel of the, of the connection. Okay, so this is, and this, so, so therefore you can, uh, you can apply this to, to one, so, uh, gamma delta and vibrant. So what is this guy now? This is simply, if you think about for a minute, this is simply a flag, a complex of flaggy pre-sheaves on smooth stratified. Okay. So we get something which is uh, more familiar. Uh, and so in particular, if I apply to this the Godman construction, then I get just a complex of species on smooth stratified. Okay? And now the, the, I also have a way to pass from uh, stratified smooth schemes to just smooth schemes. Uh, so remember that is this uh, coarse uh, functor. So the functor that goes from smooth schemes to stratified smooth schemes, sending uh, a scheme to, uh, to itself with the coarse stratification. This is the functor CO, and this is the direct image. So it's just, yeah. So I can apply CO to, to this guy. Now this is not a good idea uh, unless you, you you derive this for the H topology. Okay, so so this is uh, a guy, and so uh, here's uh, a theorem which is actually not difficult. It's more or less obvious. Is that this is a quasi-isomorphic to uh, omega, at least uh, maybe on on smooth K affine. That's always this trouble. This. Okay, so this is, uh, this complex computes the same thing as here, so namely it computes uh, the RAM homology. Okay, so I was planning to give a proof of this because it's, it's so simple um, compared maybe to, to the other one. And yeah. And anyway, I'm, I'm out of time and I did not do more than half what I wanted to do today. But uh, maybe I could just take a few minutes to um, to say a couple of words about, about this, just to, to tell you that it's really something uh, simple and not, not complicated. All right, so I want to sketch a, a proof of this. So this is quite isomorphic, means there is a chain of maps. Uh, yeah. I will not construct a chain of map. I just, I just tell you. I mean, I just try to convince you that that, that, they, that they are the same. Okay. It's, 
th th it's just a simple chain anyway. It's not, not, not so. So, right, so, so b b both, uh, both guys are, so both complexes are H vibrant. All right, the, this one by construction, because I, I took, I applied C lower star to a vibrant replacement of this. So it's still H vibrant, and, and this is because uh, the, the ramp cohomology has H descent. Okay, so, so therefore it's enough to, to compare these on the points of the H topology. Yeah, and uh, so this is, in fact, so the proof really would go first by constructing a chain of maps and then showing that uh, on the points uh, it gives you quasi-isomorphism. Okay, so why it's simpler on the points? Because um, this guy can be written uh, simply, uh, I mean, w w yeah. So, okay, so le 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 let V be, um, so be a point of the H topology. So this is uh, what is called uh, Integrally close. Um, maybe absolutely, yeah. Sorry, absolutely integrally uh, closed uh, valuation ring that I can take of uh, of finite lengths. It's called V. Uh, v is here. Uh, in fact, it's a spectrum, really. Spectrum of. Yeah, finite lens. Uh, it has only finitely many points. The spectrum has finite. Um, and so the, the argument goes by induction. So we argue by, by induction on the lens. Maybe before doing the argument. So, so if we fix such a, such a thing, then the value of this guy uh, can be written somehow slightly simpler. So, um, so if I put a v here, and this is, uh, I, I can write it simply as, um, yeah. I, I can remove the first two terms. So it's just a Goldman complex. Uh, but here we have to to be a bit more careful. To, uh, so, so, so here v has somehow a, s a slightly different meaning. Here v is v is uh, is endowed with a endowed with with, a, with the finest stratification. Okay, so if, if I don't uh, apply this. Uh, this functor here, I'm, I'm still uh, over, so this is still a complex of pre sheaves on stratified schemes. So if I want to evaluate at V, I need to put stratification here. And one should put the finest uh, stratification, namely that, that all the points are strata. Uh, and this is in the sense that, that you can you, you write now V as a, as a limit of uh, stratified uh, schemes. Okay, so the stratification should be, indo so should be induced by this limit. And if, so uh, if, you, if you do this, um, then, yeah, so th then, then you are allowed to write, to write this instead of this. Okay. Right, so now the argument goes by uh, induction on the lens. So induction. So, uh, so the, the, the case uh, lens zero this is the uh, simplest one, um, is then, then you have just uh, a field. Uh, th there is no really uh, stratification anymore. So the, th this Goldman complex is not really uh, necessary anymore. So we need, uh, we need to compare on one hand the, the RAM cohomology of, of the, this extension. And uh, the value of uh, so so the, 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 yeah that's a global section 
one fib on uh, spec k plus the unique uh, the unique flag, or the only possible flag. Okay. So now, if you if you look at what, what we have here, this is just the thing that is computing x. So th th if I put cohomology now, uh, this is uh, this this is giving us the x group uh, between one and one in the category of modulus integrable connection regular singular over k. Okay. Now, of course, k k is considered as a as a limit of smooth uh, varieties. Okay. So we want to compare the X group here and the Durham cohomology. So here it's this is the Durham cohomology of K. Okay, and, and then uh, the, there is a well known theorem of Bayesian solution. It says exactly that these two things are the same. Okay, so by a theorem of Bayesian Two groups are the same. Okay. Right. So, um, yeah, and 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 the other. So the the, the general case is uh, not. I mean, it's it's more involved, but it's. But uh, again, it's the, the somehow the crucial uh, the ingredient is again Bayesian theorem. So uh, here's just a few ideas for the general case. So as I said, it's by induction on the lens. So let 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 u be inside v, uh, the open of lens one more and one less. Okay. Uh, so the idea is that. Uh, yeah. So and then, then uh, let 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 uh, xi be the closed point, and let z be the closure. So then d is 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 a is a valuation ring of, or the spectrum of a valuation ring uh, of height uh, one, of length one. And then yeah, then there is uh, one shows this that. If you look at uh, omega uh, u over, so the, the cone, if you want the quotient or the, the cofiber, uh, then then this is the same as uh, omega psi over omega z, and the same for the other, same for this psi uh, or gamma delta. I have the same formula for, for this. So uh, if we assume that, that we, we know the case uh, of u, and so we are interested in, in the case of v, then it's enough to show that this quotient is the same as this quotient here. And so we are reduced at the end uh, to the case uh, of lens 1. And the case of lens 1, then it's done by, uh, OK, let's, let me. And those manipulations of evaluation ring, do they use the resolution of singularities? Or? I mean, it is everywhere, resolution of singularity. The, the, I, I use it in defining this, this, the, the, the topology, the site. Okay. What, what, what do you mean by? Okay, okay. I mean, you have a All right, so yeah, let me just end quickly now. With, so we, we have this, uh, so we are reduced to this thing. So we would like to know that uh, is the same as um, this, uh, so the Godemore uh, complex 
of uh, so gamma delta one vibrant at xi, but we know that this is already okay. No, we don't need this. So over. Okay, so we have this. We have two things that we want to compare. Uh, now, if if we uh, yeah, if if you look back at at, at this Godman uh, resolution, so this is this Godman complex. So this is a homotopy limit over uh, the category of flags uh, in Z. But you see, Z has two has two points. So the, the flags are there, are there are not so many. There are in fact three possibility for the flags. Either the, you have the, this two point, or you have one one of them. Um, and so if you, since you are uh, since you are modding this by this, you are somehow we are uh, the, 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 the flag consisting of this single point uh, will not appear. And at, at the end, we see that this is uh, the same as uh, as uh, the R gamma delta of something like M Z plus. Uh, Oh, it's small z. So let, let, let z be the, uh, or sigma. Sigma is the closed point. Closed point. Okay, so this, this is, uh, yeah. Okay, this is the flag sigma uh, xi. Um, mod out by gamma delta. Sorry, this is one. Okay, one. Okay. Now th this is uh, can be written also as uh, essentially like the quotient of the x, x group between one and one uh, in the category of module of integral connection, regular singular. On uh, on this thing, but this thing is actually very simple to to write down. It is uh, uh, it is sigma. It's 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 uh, essentially a, a torus over sigma. So a sigma and, and and the value group of of the valuation. Okay, so gamma value group. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so this is like like a, a product of uh, GM over sigma over sigma. Okay, and, and, and the same thing is actually true f true here. Okay, so this is also uh, the Duram cohomology of sigma. Okay, so uh, I, hope, I hope this is clear. So sigma is, is an extension of my base field. Uh, this, this is like, I mean, this is like, you can think about it as, as a lattice. It's not tr true because here we are in this, uh, uh, it's a trouser, maybe Q to the R, but let's present, pretend this, this is just a lattice. So this is, this guy here is like uh, G, GM to the R. Okay, so it's GM to the R time, times sigma. Um, yeah, so the Ramco homology of this is very simple. It's just the Ramco homology of, of uh, sigma times some uh, exterior alge uh, algebra on ZR. Uh, and the same is true here, again, by, by, by the, the, the theorem of Bellinson. And so at the end, we end up showing that, that indeed the, these are the same. But the, the variations here are, are core variations, so they are not, this, the variable is not set to the yeah, I, I said that it's not Z, so it should be QR, but Q, it's, it's uh, algebraic, so it's integrally, uh, absolutely integ integrally closed, right? So it's ah, okay, but you, okay, you know, usually it's a finite rank in good case. Yes. It's finite rank also, I mean, uh, we can assume that it's finite, yeah. But, and so it could be of rank one or you know, of Q rank R? Is yeah, 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 this is a, this is a rank, not, not, not the height, R is the rank. Rank of the valuation. And we have different terminology. There is the so the rank of the valuation is the dimension of the of the value group, uh, the tensor with Q, okay. or rational rank. Yeah, rational rank. Yeah. Okay, so I think I, I stop here today. <laughs>